Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis. We're currently down 1.3% on the one hour chart. We are still in negative MACD territory and we were about to approach to positive MACD territory. However, on Friday, we start to see a divergence and we have now reached to oversold on the RSI. If we expand out to the four hour chart, we were at positive MACD earlier in the week and we have now back approached to negative territory and we have now also reached near oversold on the RSI and the 200 moving average, this green line, still act as our resistance to the upside if we do manage to reverse higher. If we expand out to the daily chart, what we have here is we broke right below the 50-day moving average, which acted as our previous support levels that dated back to, say, September 11th. And now that acts as our resistance to the upside. And we did also average lower below the 9-day moving average, this blue line. So there is a lower high and we continue to make lower lows. So there is a lot of downward momentum. So I do expect the daily MACD to turn negative before any re real reversal to be in play. So again, I do expect the daily MACD to be in negative territory soon. And as for what we have the weekly trade of the week, my position size for my long will be less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry will be $327.01. And that is this range right there. And that coincides with past resistance levels that dated back to July 23rd. And since we're above that resistance, that now act as our support. So that will be my long entry. And as for my sell target for that position is $335.65. And my stop loss is $325.88. On the other hand, if I were to open a short position, my entry will be $341.99, which is this range right there, and that coincides with the 18-day moving average, that purple line. And for my sell target will be $328.16, and my stop loss will be $348.47. So whichever entry hits the price first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below, so do check it out. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 38% chance for the S&P 500 to climb between 0 to 2%. And on the extreme case, we have a 46% chance for it to climb between 2% to 4.5%. And to the downside, we have a 15% chance for it to fall between 0 to negative 2%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.